Dude, what's that for? All right, well, here's the deal. I brought this car up to Garrett's shop and now my hood doesn't fit. You're welcome. We yeah. charge, we charge double yeah, for that. Yeah, go figure, the hood doesn't fit. So, uh, I cut a hole in it. Now she fits. You need some there you go. Just tore out all the wiring and I'm redoing her. Got some uh, more Amazon stuff going on here. Got this loom and got some wire, some 12 gauge wire and pulled all the old stuff out and rerouting it. Redoing the headlights and taillights, air pump. Redoing the wiring for the trans cooler back here, water tank and the fuel tank. So as an amateur, DIY electrician. I think I'm doing a darn good job, but I also haven't tested any of it yet. So, you know, don't know until you try, but check this out. I've been heat shrinking everything. Got the heat shrink connectors. Just try and do it right the first time. But like I said, I still haven't tested any of it. So just gonna go for it. All right, this is what progress so far. Fuel tanks in, got the uh, main line dash tan. Still need to run the return which is all the way back here. It's bulkheaded through the where the tire well is, but I still need to run the line from here on the inside up to the tank. Got the new, got the old fuel pumps out of here. Dash 10 line, new fuel filter going all the way forward. And then check this. Ty finished up this sick turbo kit direct into the Holly High Ram, which was actually on Ruby and Leroy. Remember they had the throttle cable going over the top you can see where it's polished but now we got it streamlined straight back to the gas pedal uh, the headers come straight out the front kind of like on Ruby and this check out the exhaust five inch exhaust comes straight down right out the side of the bumper got the radiator gonna get a big nasty fan for the front the gallon fuel cell the catch can that's it a motion race works catch can we'll do a rock look at this that where it's going look at that fitment. I need to get a uh, these uh, AN fittings, the uh, ones I showed you. We have some, I believe. Mm. Probably put it like that. Come this way, into the valve covers. Think that thing's gonna be big enough? Oh yeah. Okay. Double baffle. Double baffle. All right. So I know, uh, I've already heard people say the trade radiator's not gonna be big enough, but. We're gonna show them. We're gonna show them. We're gonna show them they're wrong. So, just have to plumb the, the uh, turbo left. The new exhaust is done and have to put in a driver's seat, the driver's seat, which is sitting over there. We may redo this bracketing on the shifter. It's just a little wobbly, but right now getting the turn signal system wired in as well, because this thing's gotta be street legal and gonna need some turn signals and a horn and hazards. So I got the rest of this wiring to do. I'm doing everything color coded. So it's a little easier to diagnose if or when I do have a problem. I also wrapped it in, in loom so that less chance of something vibrating through and us having a short on race week. So just about finished up with the wiring back here and hopefully going to take this thing out for a test in a couple days. Yeah. All right, moment of truth here. We're going to uh, test out this wiring. Yeah, do you have fuses? Uh, I have some in my truck. All right, we got power here. I'm going to turn the fuel pump lee on. You ready? Yeah. She, she's burning. She's burning. All right, what else we got next? We got the, the trans fan. Take her on. There she is, you hear? Oh, it's supposed to be blowing air at me or towards the, the trans fan or the cooler? All right, so it's pulling air through. Yeah. All right. right, All right. we're good there. Because, you know, might have wired it reverse, but we're good all right now we got i've only wired the tail lights so let's check them out <sighs> boom that's on so we got to finish up the headlights and then uh fridge the water tank and nothing because i need to get a fuse in there so 
We're getting close, and it's working, so I'm How doing something right. Huh? How about that? I haven't hooked up there yet. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what All right. We're going to uh, get a fuse for the... Uh, <laughs> well, you know, in the old 12 valve, I tend to blow fuses every once in a while, so I got myself a Plano tackle box. So you don't have to worry about them. Filled her up with fuses. Always ready all to go. Amps. Yeah, all 40s. Go to the dark guys. Let me see. 20? No, you gotta go bigger. Get you, you bigger? Get you a 30 in there. Oh, we got a... No, it's a 5 dog. No? Yep. Oh, here's the 20 and we got... Here, I got a 30 right here. That's 5. Oh, what the hell? What you the hell? Color. You must have these off of Amazon. Nah, dude, Walmart. Mmm! <clears throat> I'm gonna slip that right in there, nice and deep black. All right, we are gonna try the fridge here, and ooh, she's ripping. She's ripping. ripping. This thing is nice. Check it out. It's even got a billet cover. All right, I did uh, figure one thing out with these billet covers is not only they're a pain to get the threads right, but. I found where it matched up and I did a little silver sharpie just so I know exactly where to go. Put a little bit of anti-seize on those threads too now. Oh, all right. Save you. I got that. Uh, Copa Slip on Amazon. Link in the description. <laughs> it's nice in a tube because you don't get it all over your hands. It's kind of metallic and shit. Whoa, shape. you don't got to go that That's good. That's it for the whole thing? Yeah, it spreads. All right. A little heavy on the hands there. There, get the line right though. Just right. And I'll let you show off your line. You already went past it. There it is. So satisfying. Silver, so it's oh. easy. First time. Mm. Turn it back. There she goes. There she goes. If you let that anti seat get in there a little bit, yeah. it'll get easier and easier. I think we need more. Oh, see it spreading in there? Yeah, it needs more, for sure. Dude. Excessive. That stuff. Dude, that stuff wasn't cheap on Amazon. Now you're blowing your budget way out of proportion. Dude, I'm no budget on this car. Look oh. at it. She's a beaut. You know, I just want to overbuild it. Do it right the first time. So why you got the billet lid? Yes, sir. Overhead seal. Don't spill no first water time? nowhere. No. Damn, That's right. Spill water. First time you get to edit that out. Dude. Ooh, that was a good little pro tip there. Yeah, yeah the I'm a little surprised that my wiring worked the first time. You doubted yourself? A little. But I don't like to ride my pumps and my fans and everything dry, you know. Solid. Shake test. <laughs> Ben's trunk lid in half. This is the one that Garrett has on his uh, on mullet, which is the kayak or kayak. You see that? And he goes. Whoosh. All right, that's it. How that's does it go? Up. How does it go in the kayak? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've all seen them on Amazon. Do they work? Let's see how they work. I think this is a method of. It's a science behind it. Oh yeah, dude, this is this one's looking burning, good. right? Yeah. Tickle it with heat. Mm. And Got I the think... big kit off of Amazon. All right, break up. Gotta heat say, heat. not impressed. Not break impressed. Break out the heat gun now. Okay. okay. I think I'm onto something. Look how melted the solder is in there. Oh, nice. These take a little while to shrink down. Dude, I, I, think think I don't know what's that blue stuff. That's supposed to be that. That's like blue, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> give her a little, give her a little tug. See where she's at. Let's get her. Let's get her. Let's get her all the way melted here. All right. Now let's cool it off. It's probably really hot. No, it's really not. Yeah, yeah. Alright, give her a little tug. Oh, oh, and there she goes. Oh, there is solder on the she end. She didn't of that. she did melt down on this one, but it just doesn't stick 
to the wire all that good. Old tooth doctor is going to put his hood on. Yeah, it's a teeth doctor. I think he's excited about this. Mr. Teeth doctor, do you? Got a hole, I got a hole in my hood now. Dude, what's that for? All right, well, here's the deal. I brought this car up to Garrett's shop and now my hood doesn't fit. You're welcome. We yeah. charge, we charge double yeah, for that. Go figure, the hood doesn't fit. So, uh, I cut a hole in it. Now she fits. Do you need some, there you go. To hang, dude. Aerodynamic. Is this one of them there, Pro Mods? <laughs> Look at that radiator sitting in there. That's your grill. Yeah, yeah, it's a chrome grill. It's perfect. Let me see your what? Grill. Your. Hey, if anyone needs your. a grill. I know a guy. Yeah. I could make one for the you. Tooth doctor, really good. The tooth doctor can do it up for you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for the updates. Still have to mount the fuel pumps for the small tank up front and the driver's seat. And that's it, right? Race tank. Race tank. Race you tank. know why? Why? Race car. <laughs> so what's the, what's the fuel tank in the back? Street tank. Street tank. You know why? Street car. <laughs> <laughs> Street car, race car, depends where you're at. Yeah, right. depends on what tank you're filling. I like it. And I gotta finish wiring up the front stuff, but we're there. These headlights? Street car. Yeah, these are street car. You leave headlights. them unhooked? Race, race car. car. <laughs> hey, you're catching on, dude. <laughs> Smart fella here. All right, that's it. Hey, where'd you get this guys. custom bracket, dude? Man, that's oh, nice. yeah, you made that actually. Thank yeah. you. Look at that, dude. A little, bit of, a little bit of play. You get wide open. You can't, play. you can't have it tight. If you have it tight, then it'll just stick it open and then your car aisle high and then you sound like that guy you going down the street. You know what they say. They keep it tight. They keep it right. <laughs> 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 All right. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. It's going to be a sick couple weeks coming up for race week. Later.